Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Kermit, and welcome back to another episode on the Cube Evolution server. Before we jump into it, I wanted to, to get in touch with you guys about what we talked about last episode, which was updating the mod pack, adding mods, removing mods, and getting it out to the public. So one of the things we talked about in last episode was the removal of magical crops. It's been a couple days since I've released that episode, and I've had a little bit more time to get the opinions of everybody else on the cube, to talk more to the guys who are working on the mod pack, and we, we have come to a conclusion, my friends. We have come to a conclusion that some of you guys may not enjoy, but we as the cube members think that it is going to be for the best. No, in the long run, it will be, it will be for the best. So, we... We are going to be removing the Magical Crops mod from the Cube Evolution mod pack for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is that it is extreme. I actually, I think this is the kind of the only reason. It is way, 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 way too easy to get all of the resources in the game. Like literally, it will take me, you know, two seconds to come down here and craft myself up a stack of diamonds, and I among others of the cube members, think that that is, it's just not fun. We don't think it's fun, we don't think it's enjoyable, we do not think it is entertaining content to just go down into our farm and craft whatever the crap we want. We would much rather have a, a challenge, we would much rather have to actually like go out and go mining. We just, uh, you know, I don't know. We, did, we, just, we just think it's too easy. We don't think there's any challenge, we don't think it's very much fun, and we think that there would be a lot more enjoyable content if, uh, if the Magical Crops mod was indeed removed. So, that's that. I'm going to let the guys know who are working on the mod pack to remove it. Or, actually, I already have. I have actually was just talking to them this morning. They said that they would get right on it. They've been busy with life stuff and that, you know, that's understandable. I'm one of those other people who is busy with life stuff every now and then. But anyway, that is beyond the point. Okay, Magical Crops mod is going to be removed. So that leaves us with a couple different predicaments. The first one, the first one is that I have all of these, I have all these essences. I have all these essences that are just kind of sitting here. And eventually, I don't know, I don't know exactly when the mod pack is going to be made public. I don't know exactly when we're going to be updating it. I will let you guys know when I do. But, when it does, all of these seeds and all of this essence, poof, is gone forever. So... My friends, what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it, my friends? Huh? Huh? Ask me! Ask me! I'll tell you. I'll freaking tell you. We are going to be crafting all of these into the resources we need. The vanilla resources, the actual emeralds. Instead of having emerald essence, we are actually going to have just emeralds. Now, I know this might be, you know, a little, a little counterproductive for me saying, Man, you... Getting all these things, it's just, it's just too easy. I want to go into caves, I want to go fight things, I want to go kill things, I want to go, you know, farm different things. Um, and I will, I will in time. But for now, I would love, I would absolutely love a couple stacks of emeralds. I would love a couple more stacks of diamonds. Um, I'm going to use the essences that I have farmed while I can, because... Frick, why the heck not, man? Why the heck not? I'm not going to be able to do this for very much longer. So, we should just reap as many benefits as we can by getting all this nether essence, obsidian essence into obsidian stone block thingies. I've actually got a lot of crafting to do. I've got a lot, a lot of crafting to do. Okay, what do we start with? What do we start with? Let's actually see what we can make with the gas tiers. I'm pretty sure we can only make gas tiers out of this. Gas tiers. Oh, and bottles. Oh, enchanting. I'm pretty sure we have, like... A crap ton of stuff already. <laughs> I might I might take it back. I might just, you know, go downstairs and blow it all up. Because I don't think we really need any of this stuff. But, actually, no, I think, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick and choose between a couple of different things. I think I'm going to craft all the different emeralds. I'm going to put these back. I'm going to craft all the emeralds I can. Um, I'm going to craft all the steak that I can out of this cow essence. I'm going to craft some more gunpowder. Let's actually... Yeah, let's actually switch down the crops downstairs. Let's, uh, take these seeds. Let's take... What else do I want? What else do I want? What else do I need in my life? Just start off with these. We no longer need... Mm, diamonds. We don't need diamonds anymore. 
No more diamonds for Kermit. No, 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 we got enough. Let me just place this down. Oh, and the experience farm. So I'm going to do a good job of just making a crap ton of different tanks and refilling all those tanks with all of the different experience that I can harvest from my experience farm, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, it is freaking backed up! My goodness, we've got a lot to do. Oh no, I can't fly. Help! Help! Put my hat on. Go! Go, go, go! Okay, so, I hope you guys get the point. I'm going to craft up a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to clear out my inventory, and I will see you guys once I've got all the different, uh, all the different goodies in my inventory. <laughs> Woohoo! Alrighty, man, I'm freaking done crafting. My goodness, let's check out the benefits of the magical crops for the one last time. No, that just... no, Alrighty, guys, I've just finished crafting up as much stuff as I wanted. Basically, as much stuff as I could craft more. I could craft like lapis and ender pearls and water buckets and some dirt, but I don't really need to. I've got myself an inventory full of red. Oh, wait, it's not full anymore. I crafted all the redstone blocks and over here I've got a chest full of freaking goodies. So I've got a crap ton of gold, a crap ton of quartz, a crap ton of iron, some diamonds, some emeralds, a crap ton of steak, and a lot of experience. This is the most experience I have ever had. I am very very curious to see how many levels I will end up with once I uh, am done absorbing all this experience. So once that happens I will, uh, I'll come back with you guys and we'll see, we'll see how many levels I freaking have. It's gonna be a while though. Okay, actually, I realize, I realize I wanted to talk about something. So, I've seen a lot of people, even the people on the Cube Evolution server, who like, only use a couple of these at a time, and then we'll drain them all out, and then we'll use more, and then drain them out, and use more, and drain them out. Um, this is under, this is under the thought that, you know, you get less and less experience as... You level up, or I guess it's the thought that the um, the experience orbs give you less and less experience as you level up. And my friends, my friends, so if you look up in the top left corner, you will see next to light and above the green FPS number, there's an XP bar. Right now it says 402 slash 433, so if I click one more time, it'll go and I'll be level 84. Boop. Boom, level 84. So every time you click on one of these orbs, you will get 40 experience, no matter what level you are. So let's say I'm level 1, and it only requires, you know, 18 experience to level up. Then I'll click one orb, and I'll level up twice, because it'll give me 40 experience points. Even when I'm at level 84, it'll still only give me 40 experience points. So you saw it go from 9 to 49, now it'll go from 49 to 89, 89 to like 119, oh, 129, my bad, it's been a while. <gasps> And so on and so forth. The experience orbs don't, like, become less potent as you level up. The only problem is that it just requires more levels the more you level up. If that makes any sense. So, we're at level 85. Holy freaking crap. Um, I still need to crowd myself up a whole bunch of different tanks because... Ooh, let's actually drain this out. I want to see exactly how many levels I have. Actually, unfortunately, there was a, there was a time previously in this series... That I had about 150 levels, and I died. I I can't remember what happened, I can't remember exactly how I died, but I remember having levels one day, going off, dying, not realizing I still had all those levels, then coming back on the next day, looking down at my level bar, and having zero levels, I was like, <gasps> oh, it was poopy. It was poopy. It looks like we got about 130 levels here. Maybe 132. Maybe 132. Come on, I believe. I believe. It's probably just going to stop at 132. Yep, yep. That's pretty sweet, though. That is pretty sweet. That is a lot of freaking experience. All right, let's run it all out. Let's make ourselves some more tanks. Let's decorate the rest of our floor. And then, uh, get on with the rest of the episode. Alright, I just finished draining up my levels. I haven't made any more tanks yet, so I'm still stuck with 85 levels. But before I moved on, I wanted to write down 
some project ideas because I was just brainstorming. I was actually just watching um, some of my my favorite Minecrafters, and I decided that you know maybe it's time to get a little bit more organized. Maybe it's time to get my projects on paper so I can actually remember what they are and I can actually finish them someday. So we'll go with project ideas. Woo! Exclamation point. So the first one I have, well, the first one I need to do is a better storage room. Well, I, I guess that this isn't going to be in any order. This is just, you know, me brainstorming. So we got to get a good storage room. We got to get more mob farms. Now that uh, we are no longer going to be using magical crops, we need a blaze farm. We need, uh, we have, we have the endermen, we have the witches. I think really the blaze and I think the blaze one is really all we need. I think that, yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. And then, I think that's about as far as I've gotten. But, my question is to you guys. If you guys have any projects that you guys would like me to do, like me to take on, let me know down in the comments below, and I might just add them to this book with your name and all that fun jazz. And hopefully we can get some cool stuff done. Because right now, it's, uh, it's a little too unorganized for me. Like, I've been bouncing around between a couple different things, and I would like to have kind of a direction. I feel like that would really help me. Uh, make some good progress here. For example, look at that. That is still not done. I'm so lazy. I'm sorry. I have all these great ideas, but I always just lose track of them or I get distracted by other things and yeah, yeah. So hopefully having them down, written down will uh, remind me, I don't know, keep me more motivated, I guess. It, it gets kind of weird, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Alrighty, so yeah, I gotta make more tanks. I still gotta do that. We're gonna do that right now, actually. Um, I did get a crap ton of obsidian. So, we can get started with that. And we have no glass. So I'm going to grab one of these batteries because I actually took off the battery from my pulverizer in uh, one of my previous episodes. And now everything is all stuffed. Everything is not working right. Hopefully I can just put this battery back on and it will go once again. Like that, I do believe. I do believe that's all I needed to do. Okay, that's melting. That's all stuffed with gold. Hopefully that will unstuff itself. And then pulverizer. So we gotta get our cobblestone and the pulverizer. Uh, mm, that actually takes way too long. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just going to take my shovel and uh, fly on over to the nearby desert area. I've been uh, I've been farming sand from there before, and uh, that is what I will continue to do. All right. I feel like I feel like this is worth checking out one last time. I'm a, I, I feel like you know that that glitch that happened with the dragon egg and he like fell through the freaking floor and disappeared forever. Hopefully, you know, me starting out, me starting back in, me waiting a while. Come on, please be a dragon. Please be a dragon. Don't do that to me. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> Alrighty, so I just got back from the desert. I've got a little bit of sand here. We are going to smelt it. Ooh, we still got some gold smelting. It should be ending up in... Uh... Oh, hey, look! Glass! Woo! Alright, we don't even freaking need to smelt the sand. Anyway. Nice, now we can continue onward. We can just craft ourselves up some, I think, window panes need to be crafted. Maybe we'll just go with a couple stacks. Just a couple stacks should get us going. Actually, I think five stacks to be exact would be quite, quite pleasurable. And then we go like that. Boom, shakalak, we got 64 more freaking tanks. How shall we lay them out, my friends? How shall we lay them out? I wonder. Usually... The way I do this is I kind of just like, you know, smack the floor a little bit, and eventually it turns into a cool pattern. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how things work out at least. Sometimes it looks like poop, sometimes it doesn't. But this is, uh, this has some promise, I believe. It should look good once it is all done and placed down. Hey okay, I'm going to finish this pattern, and I will see you guys soon. Woohoo! Alrighty, well this is as far as the pattern can go. Uh, unfortunately this, this, this freaking ah, it gets in the way, man. I can't freaking get into it symmetrically. Actually, I could. Oh man, I could do it! I could do it! You just gotta believe! Oh wait, no, that's too far. Dang it. Dang it, I broke it. I freaking broke it. Ah, this is not well placed. I don't like how it's not symmetrical. It's kind of driving me crazy. Kind of driving me crazy. It'll be alright though. It'll be alright. I'll live. Somehow. I'll manage. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Whatever. That's looking good. That's definitely a uh, nice improvement. We can improve it later on if we need to. 
Uh, maybe like go out to the side a little bit. I don't know, maybe fill in this area. Who freaking knows? I also gotta get rid of this thing here. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh man, guys, oh man. So I just got done talking with the guys who are working on the mod pack, and they told me that it's just a couple hours away from being completed. We are removing magical crops, removing tropicraft, and I think that's the only mods we are removing, and then adding in a couple other mods I mentioned in my last episode. But they asked me if there were any mods I wanted to add in last minute, and I just wanted to extend the opportunity to you guys to let me know what mods you guys would like to see inside the Cube Evolution mod pack. Because, once again, we are going to be adding mods over time. We are going to be evolving the mod pack, hence Cube Evolution. Yeah, pretty clever, I thought it was. And, uh, yeah, so this is just going, going to be one of the updates to the mod pack. There will be many in the future. And with that being said, I wanted to, I, want, I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what kind of mods you guys wanted to see added into the mod pack. So, if you guys have any cool mods that you guys want to see out in the mod pack, let me know down in the comment section below with a good reason as to why you think this mod would go well with the other mods and with the cube members. And yeah, that's about it. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that the, the mod pack is it's almost freaking done. And uh, I wanted to get you guys' opinions on any future mods that may or may not be added in to the mod pack. Well, I can tell you this. I can tell you this. So this, this update is is adding in a couple more technical mods we got like computer craft and industrial craft build craft uh we also got bibliocraft which should be fun we got lots of little furniture things in that and uh yeah so this is going to be kind of a you know, small technology based update but uh I've, ha I've i've read through some concerns i've talked to the cube members and uh we also think that it would be really awesome to add in some kind of more adventure based mods maybe like or spawn or maybe some other dimensions maybe the eighth i don't think the eighth mod works i think it's broken but yeah that kind of just gives you an idea of what is going on behind the scenes my friends behind the scenes oh yeah so yeah, the mod pack's almost done let me know what kind of mods you guys want added in and uh, i will think about it talk to you guys about it we can put it up for vote and if you know a mod sounds awesome we will probably add it in because to be honest, uh, most of the cube members are not uh, experienced with the the modded side of Minecraft. Lots of lots of these lots of the cube members um, actually have never really played modded Minecraft. Like for Grazer, this is Grazer's first modded Minecraft series ever. Whereas other people like Straub and myself have already had a couple of different uh, run-ins with different little modded series. So we kind of know what's going on, but we are just a couple of different people. There are thousands of you out there who have played with mods and will probably know collectively a lot more than we do. So your your opinions are probably probably more on point than ours are, to be honest. But you know, you know how things work. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, I just realized, dude, in a couple of freaking hours. Um <laughs> uh, so in a couple hours, um magical crops will be removed. And once magical crops are removed. Uh, my roofs will be gone, my roofs will be gone, my armor will be gone, my tools will be gone, and my shop will have nothing in it. Let's go back to my shop, actually. Let's go check out what removing magical crops will actually do to spawn. So let's go on in here. Luckily, luckily, the spawn was not actually built with magical crops. It was built with quartz and uh, some, of the, some of the chisel blocks. But, unfortunately... There are like three shops in spawn that uh, that use magical crops. In fact, this shop right here is kind of based entirely off of magical crops. And that's kind of a bummer for, for, for Rusher. I think he'll survive, you know, once we actually remove magical crops. Um, things like lapis and gold and diamonds will actually have value. So I think that uh, although removing magical crops will take away some aspects to the shops i think in the in the long run it will be adding more more content and more things to do and kerm kerm for overload for kerm for overlord that is a good sign i don't know who put that there anyway yeah so all of these blocks all of these blocks right here will be gone um this armor will be gone all that is in my chest will be gone but you know the tanks will still be there the burnt quartz will still be there for the most part this shop will still be there and I will still probably be using the shop and this design. I kind of like it. 
I kind of like how it looks. Even though, you know, this is the uh, Extreme Essence found in the Magical Cups mod, it's still, I still kind of like it. It's still a cool little shop. And uh, all of these bricks will be gone as well. But there are other yellow bricks in the game. Let's just do yellow. And yellow bricks. What do you know? We got some bricks that can replace these ones. Not too difficult. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? I think... Well, I mean, anybody with a brain can can tell you that this was either built by Bayani or King Tong. So let's go check it. Ooh, a sign. Oh, yep, yep. Plot claimed by Will. What do you know? Mr. King Tong strikes again. Looks like he's got some carpenter's blocks going on. I've actually always really liked the amount of detail that they've added in. Um, they always just find a good way to implement these little designs into it. Ah, looks so good. Looks so good. What is over here? Looks like another plot has been laid out. Grape and Bayani. Ooh, that's a interesting duo. Whoa. Freaking lightning, man. But this is going to be a, a magic shop, it looks like. Quite interesting. I'm curious to see how this is all going to be laid out. I'm, I, dude, I'm, I'm so excited for more shops to pop up. I'm very excited for people to, you know, specialize in different things. And for, there's just so many cool things. Like, for example, the, the Inferno Furnace thingamajigger that Tomahawk built. This thing is freaking awesome. Look how unique this is. This would never be inside of vanilla Minecraft. There are just so many different unique things that are going to be built that I am I am very excited for. I'm a little impatient for actually. I'm kind of like bugging all the guys. Yo man, get on the QB though. Let's play, let's recall, let's build some cool magical things. It's gonna be lots of fun. Uh, but, oh actually we should probably add this to my, my project. We gotta do the PVP arena. So I've seen a bunch of other comments saying, you know, that right now the mod pack is kind of just magic and farming. And then once it's, once it get up, up I don't know, once it gets updated, it will kind of just be, whoa, what the heck is this? What the heck is going on? Who built things in my area? I don't know what's happening. What the heck, man? Anyway. Anyway, after the update, it will probably just be, you know, magic farming and some technology stuff. The next update after that, uh, we, we really do want to add in some, some adventure stuff. But until then, I would like to kind of focus on kind of a PvP aspect. I've mentioned this before. I mentioned this the first time I came over here and showed you guys what was going on with this battle arena. I really think that adding a PvP aspect into the cube evolution will make the series much more enjoyable it will add a lot more you know intense moments a lot more direction for some of the episodes it'll be fun i think you know once i finish this or if if i finish this if other people want to help me finish it that would be awesome and if uh people want to stop using this area to open up lucky blocks that would be awesome as well i don't really know what the heck is going on over here uh but yeah so this will be cool i really will ah I don't know, man. I need I need to get people on here. I need to get Bayani or Will or somebody. I need to just, like, grab them for a couple of hours and just freaking slam some projects out of this freaking park and uh, get some, some freaking content done, you know? You know how I feel, bro. You know how I feel. Alrighty, well, as the storm comes in, the frog ends his episode. I'm going to go back to my house. I'm going to go find a comment, and I will see you guys back. Or some story time. Come on, freaking door, let's go! Let's freaking go! Story time needs to happen! There you go. Sweet. Alrighty, guys! Oh, freaking crap, I broke a torch. Anyway, it's story time. Let's get on into it. I actually have two things to talk about. One is the name of our green dragon. I was looking through the comments, and I found this one guy who posted a couple different comments with some really awesome names. Now, these names, they, they hit me in kind of a sweet spot. They hit me right in my childhood. So let's get on with the question, or the statement. Kerm, name the forest dragon Shenron. It's the name of a green dragon that grants wishes from the Dragon Ball franchise. So there was this thing, as, 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 a little, as a little Kerm, as a little Kerm, I used to stay up all night trying to watch something called Tsunami Run on the Cartoon Network channel. Uh, Tsunami Run was this, like, kind of this marathon thing that would play... You know, different shows from like Adult Swim, it would play Dragon Ball Z and a couple other, you know, somewhat more mature 
shows, you know, because it was supposed to be, hey, you know, there were some little kids that watched, you know, Spongebob during the day, and there were some little kids that, or there were some older kids that watched Dragon Ball Z later on at night. I was one of those people who would always try to stay up throughout the night and watch Dragon Ball Z, but for some reason, no matter what, I would fall asleep at like 11.30. And it always pissed me off because I was never able to finish the freaking episodes. Anyway, the next question, or the next name that he gave us, was Rayquaza from the Pokemon franchise. Now, the Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire games from the Pokemon games are the the only games of the Pokemon franchise that I truly just played. Like, I, I played Yellow version, I played Red version, I've played Silver and Gold for a little bit, but the Emerald, I actually think I had um, the Sapphire version. The Sapphire version, holy moly, I went freaking hard on that crap as a child. So these names are both really cool names. They hit me right in the feelers, and I cannot decide on my own. So let me know what you guys think. Would you guys rather have Shenron from Dragon Ball Z, who's just freaking beast, or would you guys rather have Rayquaza from the Pokemon franchise, who is also a freaking beast? Let me know down in the comments section below, and I will uh, read through the comments and decide based on what you guys vote on. All right, anyway, let's get on with the actual question. Hey Kermit, I was wondering if you would ever start any of the old series you would not finish, like the Milliner Mod Let's Play. Because I know I enjoyed it, and it just has an abrupt stop to the series from longtime fan beta. So, lots and lots of things kind of go into a series, and there are many, many reasons as to why somebody might abruptly stop a series. I'm not about to go into explain all these different reasons, because that would just take, you know, 30 minutes on its own. But what I can say is that I don't think I will be able to continue any of those series, such as Pixelmon, Millionaire, you know, way back when, when I was doing Eldaria. Holy moly, that was a long time ago. But some of these, some or I guess all of these series have been uh, deleted. Like, I don't have the Adel Eldaria map. I don't even have the Millionaire mod on my computer anymore. I would be interested in redoing some of these mod packs, though. Like, I wouldn't be able to continue back from where I left off, but I would be able to completely start over, and if I, I don't know, had the time, I'd actually kind of be down to to redo Millionaire. Millionaire was a lot of fun. But, and maybe Pixelmon. No, I don't want to say that. Don't, no, don't get your hopes up, don't get your hopes up. My goodness, once I was doing Pixelmon, I put out like nine episodes for like six freaking months. Every day. There was at least, like, one or two people that would come on there and say, Hey man, when are you going to continue Pixelmon? When are you going to continue Pixelmon, Kermit? There were nine episodes, I want more Pixelmon. It was six months ago. Alright, is episode 10 coming out soon? <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly. Well, anyway, I hope that answers your question. Um, I guess I could just answer it like, I won't be able to continue any of the series, but I might restart completely on some of them if, uh, if the interest is truly there in my fan base. And, well, that is it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a like, favorite, comment if you guys did. And I will see you guys for episode 34. Oh, yeah.